out with the question at the start. You guys come in when they finish the phrase and you come in on the genome yeah. as a it's, there are moments making musical when music is being made that the music plays us and we are just uh, surfing on the waves of something that has existed for for long before us and we are helping keep alive something like a it's like a massive tree that is always growing and its branches are always reaching out and there we are on that tree and when I think there are moments where you're really aligned with others, then it's like something can come through on that tree um, to, to show you more of the other parts of the tree too. And sometimes that tree, it, you know, it, it touches the, the sky and for a moment you're, you're in, the, in the heaven of sorts. I was really happy because I thought it was really a good, good idea to to record this uh, these songs uh, in in this beehive um, studio, and um, and as well like recording live with the musicians. It's it's actually the first time I I do this with with somebody, uh, seven musicians in one room and 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 recording whole pieces uh, live and it's um, it was really exciting for me to do this and uh, yes it's very interesting to to see what what hap what can happen sometimes on the moment you get like one one feeling that oh, everybody's connected together and the music is really really flowing and it's it's really really powerful This project, the way it is being recorded, for me is very, very special. Um, uh, actually, all the other albums that I've done with uh, Jono, we have to some degree uh, done it uh, remotely. So he would be in one place, I would be in another place, other musicians in other places, except for one. We did one in Seville um, uh, in one night in three hours <laughs> and we called the album One Night in Seville and in a way that was a, mm, a special experience because we had that, uh, that spontaneity of being in the same room at the same time and uh, so that was also inspiring for me that, that we are creating a much larger time space and a very defined space here like um, the fact that we all live here and that we have eight, eight days <laughs> to work on these things um, uh, makes the, the potential to really, uh, for, for human interaction, makes it uh, very promising. And well, now we're at the end and some incredible things happen. And now on the trumpet we have a rhythm around the corner. So most 
of but them, mostly, most yeah. Of them, yeah, so yeah. Most of them are from Dead Mics. <laughs> uh, I will proceed with the, you know, with all the bleeding and the sound and what with it. Well, they, they, we're not making a record where we want complete separation. We want a, a you know, a very live feel so that pick up down the microphones is is actually, if you're careful, is beneficial. You do have to make sure there's enough separation, as we call it, um, to be able to have some control in the mixing, you know, to make things a bit quieter, a bit louder. But as you know, I've been running with two um, ambient mics up in, up in the ceiling and they will be quite a big part of the sound. So obviously everything is on them, hopefully. Um, but I, I just find, and some of the condensers like, uh, well, like this one here, which is a Neumann 184, um, they're pretty directional. But the big condensers obviously are less directional. But I, you know, it's different. If you're doing live stuff, if you're doing, you know, different circumstances, maybe, you know, live sound, then you know, I think you need more control and an actual finesse of sound quality. Create something which is uh, a vision, you know, and um, uh, not just uh, not just about um, the sound itself, although it's important, but about the purpose and the, the content of the music and the the inspiration behind it, and it's a it's a vision that extends far beyond. This, um, this studio, it's uh, a project which involves all musicians from all different walks of life and from all different countries and it's just the spirit of creating music and bringing that feeling which, uh, which we can find together with music um, across time and space and that we can, um, that we can uh, really um, take a lot of influence from many different cultures and create something uh, completely unique which is still our own and we can <laughs> explore explore culture and explore um, everything through music <laughs> Even on a finger, you can touch someone and they will move. You know, and that's I think intention is a little bit like that, and music functions a lot in that way. Maybe there can be a lot of chaos in a song, or uh, there can be a lot going on, and then suddenly there's one moment, and and that intention, um, the word, everything. Maybe it's like, um, you know, you're dropping a seed into someone's mind. Spolupráce s Johnem jako hudebně 
je zajímavá v tom, že každá ta písnička je úplně jiná, jako stylově, žánrově. Takže, mm, takže vlastně hrát s Johnom je, je jako hrát s osmi písničkáři jako v jedné osobě, takže vlastně si člověk zkusí spoustu věcí a, a má v tom teda jako dost velkou svobodu. Protože i při tom nahrávání tam je spousta momentů, které jsou úplně improvizované. Když jsem byl malý kluk, tak jsem měl takový malý globus a uh, jednou jsem takhle zapích do té České republiky pras a říkám si, co je na druhé straně, takhle jsem to zapích na tu druhou stranu a takhle to otočím a koukám, tam je nějaká zemička, aha, Nový Zéland, tak tam by se chtěl jednou podívat, no, nikdy jsem tam nebyl, ale skrz Jonathan Nový Zéland takhle přijel ke mně. s Johnem, tak je to vlastně um, láska vlastně k nějakým etnické hudbě, nebo od něj posloucháme a inspirujeme se s ní vlastně oba dva, takže um, to vlastně to je to, co nás spojuje a to je to, co vlastně i tady ten, um, pro ten projekt, že každá ta skladba vlastně čerpá uh, z nějaké hudební kultury, nebo on se inspiroval nějakou hudební kulturou a složil vlastně na to svoji skladbu. example the land of the green stone it's um, it's about the South Island of New Zealand where I'm from but it's also about capitalism it's about the way that we live uh, with the earth and how we treat the earth and um, it's also a, a calling for us to look for um, uh, a sense of wonder, a sense of beauty, a sense of appreciation for the world. In the land of the green stone, there's no man he can call his own. Oh, the cloud, they go so high, and never reach out in this. Yeah, musical, uh, emotional, uh, eclectic experience of the world and the environment we live in and uh, a full spectrum of integrating all of the different um, emotions and transcendental experiences we can have through a musical ritual. That was a big sentence, wasn't it? <laughs>
was a man made of stone He had blue eyes, deep like a bone But there was a bird who told him to fly Far, far away But there was a girl made of lace She had green eyes, deep in her face But there was a bird who told him to fly Them, watch them play and let them out to swim and play 